Hi everybody, Ali from Potent Printables here. This will be part two of my C3PO build. In part one, we talked a lot about the external CAD and all the pieces that go together to make that up. 3D printing them, bonding them together, sanding and priming. And so if you haven't seen that episode, I recommend checking that out so you can get caught up to where we're at. In this episode, we're gonna talk a lot about the eyes, how those are designed and made. And we'll talk about the internals a little bit and how, how that works. So why don't I describe basically in general how this works. So the eyes light up, that's pretty easy, but how does the speaking work and how is that done in the right manner? Is it remote control? Is there somebody else in the room triggering the wave files at the right time? No. Is it all on a timer where he says a certain number of clips in succession and I have to memorize my responses? No. Is it voice recognition where he recognizes what I'm saying and responds appropriately? Absolutely not. It's much simpler than that. So basically the way it works is there's a bunch of switches on the bottom and when I press a switch, it triggers a corresponding wave file. Do take good care of yourself. So in that manner I can be holding the head and do some puppeteering and trigger an appropriate wave file at the at the right time and you know kind of have a conversation. So that's basically how it works. And there's an Arduino Uno that processes the button pre button presses and pulls the, the right wave file from an SD card. So we'll talk about more about that in the third video. So let's get started in this one to talk in more detail about the eyes. I later realized the intro wasn't doing the eyes justice. So I turned the brightness down on my camera to give you a better idea of what it looks like in real life. So here you can see we have the CAD for the internals of C-3PO's head. Um, so basically in there we have to have um, six LEDs, three in each eye, um, to provide the light that C-3PO has in his eyes. And then we have a speaker um, right behind the mouth so that he can talk. Um, and then we have to have the electronics that drive all that. So one of the issues was um, how to get the electronics in and out so you can work on it. Um, the original idea I had was to have the two halves come apart and the back half be able to attach to the front half so you could get it apart and get the electronics out. Um, but that quickly became pretty difficult because I don't have the native CAD model for the head. As you can see here, I've drawn a very, very crude, um, you know, models of the front and the back half so that I could uh, mock up the, the internals of uh, the electronics and so forth. Um, so I quickly abandoned that and came to realize that I was going to have to bond the two halves together and that would make it very difficult to get in and out. Um, if I had some of the pieces kind of say just floating, you know, in the in the upper space, um, I'd have to be able to reach my hand in, get them loose, bring them out, and I figured that would be a real pain. So what I decided to do was mount everything on a plate um, that basically is right at the neck, so that you know, with a couple of screws down bottom, I can drop this plate down, and it would have all the electronics um, contained upon it, so that I could get it in and out. Can reprogram the SD card quickly, I could troubleshoot anything, and um, that seemed like the way to go. Um, the other assemblies would be bonded in place and would just have long service loops so that they could be uh, you know, withdrawn and then plugged in and out of the electronics um, when I needed to. So here we have C-3PO's eye assembly, and I'll um, make an exploded view so you can see it better. So we have the front grill. Um, which will be painted um, gold and the goldish color. And we have the iris, which will be 3D printed um, black. And we have a lens, which um, we're taking from a halogen floodlight, and it has a pattern that, that forms up the majority of what c 3 I look like um, from the movie. And then we have a 3D printed housing that everything will basically be bonded to. Um, the lens is bonded in in these three specific spots and we'll probably put a little bit more around the outer edge. Um, there's going to be a diffuser that goes in the back and then there'll be a couple other components which we'll add um, shortly. So now we're going to add back in the remaining components and complete the assembly. So here you can see we have a backing plate that has three spots for three of the high power yellow LEDs that we're gonna be using. Um, and there's a central pillar here um, that will be bonded on and provide some strain relief.
There, so we can see we have the completed assembly, which will have three yellow LEDs um, that will be kind of diffused by the diffuser um, to provide a you know, slightly uniform yellow background, but still have the three yellow hotspots that are evidently visible in C-3PO's eye design. Here are some of the components in real life. These are the high brightness LEDs that I use to get more current for better brightness. And we can see that I've bonded three of them into the backing plate. Um, they're epoxied in. And you can see the strain relief pillar there and that prevents the wires from pulling it. So here you can see we're a little farther along. This is the what's gonna be the lens that will make up the bulk of C-3PO's eye. It's from the top of a halogen light bulb that you can get at most hardware stores. Um, so we'll have to remove that from the housing using a Dremel tool. Just be very careful if you're attempting that yourself. So that's the lens that's been removed. You can see the iris is 3D printed, which will be bonded in the center. Here's the outer housing that the lens will go into, like this. And that'll all be bonded in place. And then the backing plate with the LEDs and the diffuser will go behind that. Here's an in-process eye assembly. We have the blue 3D printed housing with the clear lens with its pattern on it. And we have the 3D printed iris that's bonded to the lens. And now we're gonna put the diffuser in. The diffuser is made from about 10,000 thick polycarbonate and it has scotch tape layered onto it. The scotch tape is actually what makes it the diffuser, so don't forget that part. So the diffuser will be kind of pressed into the um, housing, and then we're gonna apply some epoxy to hold it in place. So while bonding the diffuser in, I also included a layer of epoxy on top of that for bonding the spacer to that. And that spacer is that blue 3D printed ring that you see me pressing on right now. The spacer was added so to pull the LEDs back a little bit further to get the positioning and the kind of diffusion right so that the whole of C-3PO's eye has a nice uh, uniform lighting to it. And finally, the back plate with the LEDs will be bonded to this once it's in place. Now we have the front half of C-3PO's head with an eye assembly already bonded in place. And we're gonna be working on bonding the speaker in. And you can see that I already have a small black foam gasket that will cover his mouth and cover up the speaker and give it a nice uniform appearance. The speaker will also be bonded in with the two-part epoxy and it'll go right there. Now we're going to bond in the other eye assembly. Um, you can see that it's that part is pre-assembled and we're going to bond it in right here over the other eye hole. And we're going to use, uh, of course, our two-pot epoxy. So you can see that I'm applying it around the perimeter. And once that's done, I will insert the um, pre-assembled eyepiece. And then I'll have to do the alignment, which you'll see when I flip it over. Now that it's roughly placed, I'm going to be fine tuning the alignment by flipping it over and making sure the iris and the lens are centered in his eye. All right, so that's the end of part two of the C3PO build. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and why don't you head on over to part three so we can finish up the build. I've got to rest before I fall apart. I don't have to Okay, buddy, we'll, we'll take a little break.